as you know, it's not about the economies and the countries, it's really about the companies. And in Europe, we certainly have some world-beating companies. And you can select the right companies. I think despite Europe being uh, challenged from an economic perspective, you can deliver a very useful return. We've had four different managers on this fund. Obviously, it got off to a wonderful start in the first 10 years when Anthony Bolton was running it. But the other three managers, myself included, have added value relative to the index. And I think it, it proves the point that stock picking in such a universe like Europe can really make quite a difference to your longer term returns. Investors should consider an allocation to Fidelity European values because there are a lot of world beating companies in continental Europe which you might not get exposure to otherwise. Uh, there's another factor and that is that Europe contains a much higher proportion of companies with substantial exposure to emerging markets and Asia than say the US does and they being fast growing areas of the world you wouldn't initially think would be represented in Europe but they are indirectly through the companies in which uh, you invest. And the third thing you know is that the European markets have for many of the last 20 years actually outperformed other markets such as the United States. So it's not the slow coach you might assume. My objective in running this fund is to run a balanced mainstream approach and the investment objective is to outperform on the portfolio itself by about one to two percent per annum. Now in addition to that clearly in an investment trust in rising markets the gearing can add some value as well. And I'm pleased to report that now in the ninth year uh, the outperformance is running at about 2.4 percent per annum. It's great to see that the trust has uh, had another good year of performance and that the three-year and five-year numbers are good both in absolute terms and relative to the benchmark and indeed to the competitors uh, within the sector. But there are sort of three core principles that I follow in terms of investing. First of all, really like all Fidelity managers, I'm a very much a bottom-up investor. Uh, but in my particular case, the stock selection is very much done with a focus on dividend growth. I do take quite a long-term view. Typically, my investment horizon is on a three to five year basis. So I'm trying to find companies which I think can consistently grow their dividends on a three to five year view that are attractively valued. Finally, I am quite a cautious investor. The beta on the portfolio tends to be well less than one on an unlevered basis. And I do spend a lot of time focusing on downside risk as much as uh, the potential for upside reward. I would say that the highlights uh, for Fidelity European Values from the board's perspective over the last year have been decisions the board has taken to further the interests of shareholders in two key respects. The first is to announce a formal intent to raise uh, the dividend each year. We hope that will be welcome to shareholders. And the second is to defend the level of discount from exceeding 10%. And we hope, of course, in due course, that it could be significantly lower. But we are pleased that at this point of speaking, it's lower than it was last year. It's in single figures, and we hope we can get it lower still. As you know, in investment is a bit like sort of a rally race come demolition derby. And in a rally race, you need a really good navigator. And in my case, the navigator is the Fidelity in-house research team, which really uh, gives us tremendous support to me as a fund manager. Fidelity European Values is available to buy through all of the major platforms, so Hargreaves Lansdowne or indeed Fidelity Personal Investing. You can buy it either in a general investment account or in an individual savings account, an ISA, or a self-invested personal pension, a SIP. 